Chapter 3 An Identity Card I walked to the Ministry of the Interior. I waited in another queue. I spoke to another official. I asked for an identity card. Fill in this application form, the official said, and bring the form and three photographs of yourself and two pounds. Come back tomorrow. Tomorrow, I said. Can I have an identity card today, please? I live in Minta. I live five hours' journey from Darpur. I'm an old man. Yes, come back tomorrow. And the official turned away. I walked away from the Ministry of the Interior. I walked to the market. At the market, I looked at everyone. I was looking for a man from my village, but I could not find a villager. So then I walked to the shop of Rick. I spoke to Rick. I want an identity card, I told him, but I need three photographs of myself. I see you need some photographs. And he showed me the way to a photographer. I found the house. The photographer was asleep, but he came to me quickly. The man's clothes were dirty, and he looked tired. I need an identity card, I said. I want three photographs of myself. Yes, you want three photographs of yourself, the photographer replied, and I take very good photographs. Come and see my camera. We walked into his room. In the middle of the room was a large camera. This is the best camera in Darpur. This camera is very, very good, the photographer said proudly. I've never seen a camera, I said. I don't know about cameras. Hurry up and take a photograph of me. Please do not hurry me, old man, the photographer said. I am an artist. And he gave me a mirror and a comb. I don't want a mirror. I don't want a comb. Please take my photograph. I'm going to Minter this afternoon, and I'm in a hurry, I said. Yes, he said. But first, the price. This is the best camera in Darpur, and I'm the best photographer. Three photographs will cost you two pounds fifty. Two pounds fifty? And I laughed. Two pounds fifty, and pay me now, please, the photographer answered. I did not know the price of photographs. What could I do? Then the photographer said, You're an old man. For you, the price is two pounds. So I gave him the money, and he took the photographs. Come back tomorrow morning, he said. I want my three photographs now, immediately, I said. Don't be stupid, the photographer said. Photographs take twenty-four hours. Come back tomorrow. What could I do? So I said, yes, tomorrow morning. Good, said the photographer. Now go. I have a lot of work. I'm very busy. I went back to the bus station. I sat on the bus for three hours. I walked ten miles back to my village. It was night time, and I was very tired. Martha and my friends were waiting for me. Where is the money? Martha asked. I have no money. I cannot change the money order. First I must have an identity card. And I told Martha everything. Tomorrow I am going to Darpur again, I said. Then I did not talk again. I was very tired, and it was late at night. I lay on my bed, and I slept. Chapter 4 No Photographs I woke up late the next morning. The sun was already high. I did not walk to the main road and catch a bus. 
All the buses go to Darpur early in the morning. So I stayed at home on Wednesday. I was still very tired. I rested and talked to the villagers about the money order. I told them about the identity card and the photographer. The school teacher said, Yes, the official is correct. In a post office you always show your identity card. The school teacher filled in my application form for an identity card. Application form for identity card. Name? Adam Jamai. Address? Village of Minta. Age? 72 years. Place of birth? Village of Minta. Occupation? Farmer. Color of eyes? Brown. On Thursday, I traveled to Darpur again. I walked to the main road and I caught a bus. In Darpur, I walked to the house of the photographer. I knocked on the door of the house. No one came to the door. I knocked again loudly with my stick. A woman opened the door. Who are you? What do you want? She asked. Can I have my photographs, please? I said. Your photographs? I have no photographs, the woman replied. I came here on Tuesday. Where is the photographer? I asked. He's out. He's not here. And the woman closed the door. I shouted at her. I'm waiting here for him. After a long time, the photographer came back. He looked tired and he smelt of beer. Give me my photographs, I said. I have waited a long time for you. The photographer looked at me and said, I don't know you, old man. What photographs are you talking about? My three photographs for my identity card. I paid you two pounds for them on Tuesday. Give me my photographs immediately or my money. Your photographs? Your money? What are you talking about? The photographer said. Show me the paper. Show me the receipt for your money. My receipt? I asked. Yes, where is your receipt? The photographer asked. You didn't give me your receipt, I shouted. Give me my photographs or my money immediately. And I hit the photographer hard with my stick. I am old, but I am still strong. The photographer fell on the ground. He shouted, help, help, this old man is killing me. And I hit him hard again. Lots of people ran out of their houses. I hit the photographer again, and two men held me. I could not get away from the two men. The photographer was very angry, and I was very angry. Lots of people were shouting. Then a policeman came. The photographer shouted to the policeman, This old man hit me three times with his stick. He's a thief and a murderer. He wants my money. The policeman held my arm and said, Come with me to the police station. I did not say anything. We walked to the police station. At the police station, the policeman asked me, Did you hit that man three times? Yes, I said. He didn't give me my photographs. Show me your identity card, said the policeman. I am Adam of Minter Village. I replied, and I haven't got an identity card. Old man, said the policeman, go back to your village. Don't come here and fight. Keep out of Darpur. And he pushed me into the street. I went back to my village. I was tired and angry. <laughs>